to keep it a stack, to keep it 100, we cannot live in this world. Like, that's literally the mother truth. Don't be ignorant and choose to live a logical life and close out the part of yourself that has any spark and belief of good happening for you, good happening for the world, and just overall good happening in general. Now, you can become what you want regardless of what the world is looking like, regardless the way the world looks, regardless the things that go on in this physical reality that we all live in. Babe, trust me when I say that you can certainly live in this world and have the things that you want manifest everything the way that you want it to be now if you're not understanding what i'm saying here let me just let me just clear the air for you what i mean by this is if you are seeking inner peace but you may look towards the chaotic shit that's going on in our world the wars that are going on the sadness the anger the riots racism discrimination you cannot wait for the world to be fixed to feel inner peace financial freedom and becoming a millionaire making money being financially free the economy is failing quote unquote inflammation prices are rising on things you cannot wait for the world to be fixed money wise in order for you to be making bank here's a huge one okay this this is a huge one okay like i'm mean, gonna put y'all onto this finding true love <laughs> finding true love what do people be saying men are this way or women are this way or all men cheat or all women play around you cannot wait for what is being said in this world to change in order to find that true love that you're seeking okay that's just what we're not going to do another one is succeeding in your dream career okay we all have a dream career that we want to fulfill we all have a dream path that we're interested in and we want to give our passion towards and just be our truest selves in this career and make money by doing what we love what is the most famous quote that people be saying that we're gonna destigmatize? There's already so much people filled up in this area or in that field. It's too late for me. No, okay? We are dropping this mindset. We are dropping this perspective. We're not giving energy to waiting for the world to make a change for us to change what's really deeper inside of us, okay? More so of we're not waiting for external validation of what is going on in our world to then get internal validation of what we want because you see this is a huge thing i'm gonna speak about and it's because we're so fooled tricked programmed from very young at a young age to believe things before we see it that's truly the deep core belief that's going on here and you know within us growing up and just believing what we're believing we then make this our reality and it truly does take a divine awakening from within each and every single one of us and of course you know people like me people like friends you may have that are just very helpful in really helping you detangle things like this, you will eventually get out of that mindset. And this is what brings me into talking to you about today's video. What is up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is a manifesting legend and on this channel, we talk about manifestation, metaphysics, psychology, philosophy, self-development, and so much more. We are the Butterfly Gang that is a community of conscious creators that is constantly evolving, existing, experiencing, and manifesting. So please feel free to subscribe to join the Butterfly Gang. And honestly, I'm really excited to talk about this because what we're going to be talking about is basically routines and habits, more so specifically, a daily practice of hypnosis, affirmation meditations, meditations prayer, a daily practice of really grounding one individual, whether you be spiritual, religious, whatever you want to call it, we really as human beings, not doers, but human beings have to really take the active and conscious choice of grounding ourselves. You know, whatever way this may be for you, perfectly great, perfectly fine even comment it down below so we can keep finding more ways to ground ourselves but it's truly about grounding ourselves i do want to mention that we cannot live in this world and you may be questioning like well what does that mean we live in physical world i am talking about the physical reality of it we cannot live in the beliefs that are existing in this world that we live in we cannot live in the mindsets that this world is living in and majority of the time you know people are living in these mindsets and these beliefs and this is truly the reason why it is externalized in their life the way they are seeing results, the way they are seeing money show up, the way they are seeing their love life show up, just overall the way that their life is treating them is simply because of them living in this world and not grounding within the inner world that we all have, you know? I do want to mention that, you know, living in this world, the identity with what's going on in the world is very unhealthy for you and it's really not going to bring you any peace. You learn to anchor in on what works for you, like I said, whether that be self-hypnosis, affirmations, meditation, 
meditation, prayer, breath work, like anything that truly grounds you back to self. And I do want to differentiate self from the world because self is one connected with God. Self is creativity. Self is imagination. Self is possibilities. Self is limitless, okay? Self is abundance. Through going inward, through having your inner world, you are unlocking and accessing the abundance that is your birthright. And this is something that we all are deserving of. We all are worthy of and we all are truly meant to experience this. Now, the opposite of this is worldly things, the 3D world, the conscious mind, you know? Self is also the subconscious, if you know what I'm saying. But this side of it, of worldly things, 3D, conscious mind, you know, the devil, negativity, like these are all things that are truly meant to trick us, to truly make us feel unmotivated, truly make us turn the bad cheek, you know, doubt ourselves, not believe in things being possible, causing so much bad things, in my opinion, that happen in this world. And through this lens of things, you know, it's a really a conscious decision you have to make every day again and again to get rid of this narrative and go over to the self, go over to God, go over to source. Now, I'm really excited to be talking about this because of the simple fact that I do have a couple of texts that I have I want to read to you guys. You know, the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Bible and the Bible, there's a scripture, Luke 17, 21, and it states the kingdom of heavens is within you. Now, this is literally what everything I was just explaining. You know, we live on this physical plane as human beings. However, we are not meant to live mentally and spiritually on this plane. We are meant to live within our minds. We are meant to live within the heavens that exist within us. You may be wondering, what is the heavens? Well, in my perception and opinion, the heavens is truly believing in the good of everything, seeing the positiveness that everything provides, seeing the God, the Christ that everything exists within, truly moving forward with that. Within the heavens of yourself, it's your limitless potential. It's your abundant mindset. It's the abundance that is yours. It's the dreams and possibilities manifesting for you. And this is truly something that you have to choose every day, regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your problems and regardless of your issues. Now, I do want to relate this to a Hinduism text, which if you know me, I love taking texts from multiple perspectives and aspects and just bringing them all together in comparison because two is better than one, in my opinion. So in the Shandogya Upanishad, it is a Hinduism text and it states the following, Tat Twam Asi. This simply states, thou art that. This truly is similar to what the Bible says in reference to the kingdom of heaven being within you because this simply means Atman, which is the soul, the inner self, which Hinduism refers to, which is each and every one of us as human beings is connected with Braham, which is the one universal soul, aka God. Now, like I mentioned before, you know, the kingdom of heavens within you is God and is Jesus and is everything meant for good and manifestations and all that there is. And if you want to look at it through a spiritual lens, this is also the 4D, the 5D consciousness. You know, 3D consciousness is the physical world, things that we see, things that we hear, you know, things that are affecting us if we choose and let it affect us. However, the 4D consciousness and the 5D consciousness is simply the heavens from within. Like also the Hinduism text says, thou art that, everything that comes from within. Now, I do want to also bring in a Buddhism concept, which could be really helpful if you are sensitive to the Bible as well as Hinduism. And the Buddhism concept, the Buddhism concept kind of goes along the lines of understanding that the awakened nature of our mind is already present within each and every one of us. And this simply relates to the worlds that are within us, the worlds that we are choosing choosing to give energy. Because although I'm speaking about this in our inner world, we have two choices of having an inner world that is positive and having an inner world that is at a high vibration and an inner world that does remind us of the good that exists within us and the good and possibilities that is possible for us. However, it can go the other way within the inner worlds of yourself. And it's about just keeping track, being conscious and choosing an outlet of desires that you want for yourself and sticking to it, being grounded and believing in the possibilities of that. Another thing that Buddha taught was the path of enlightenment that is coming from within. Now, that's a common thing within the Buddhism concept is that it is the insight of nature of reality that comes from within. And this was achieved through personal experience that Buddha talked about, as well as meditation, which we all know meditation is something that stems from within you. You know, through meditation is through understanding your understanding, if you know what I'm saying, you know, knowledge that comes from within you that is channeled, in my opinion, from God or the higher self or the universe. And of course, this, all of this aligns with the script, the first scripture that I said from the Bible, which was Luke 17, 21, the kingdom of God is not found in any external location, but within yourself. And this relates
conflicts with every single evidence that I showed you from these texts because understanding that a physical place is never going to replace the home that is self and the love that comes from within. And although you may try to find a physical place, although you may try to find an outlet, a certain type of validation, regardless of whatever this may be for you in your life, like this could be for relationships and finding someone to validate your feelings of love and wanting to feel love or money, using as much money as you can and wanting as much money to really cover the feeling of finding something that is truly deep within you and so much more along that spectrum. But all I'm trying to say in this video is that truly understanding that you have the power to really anchor in the heavens within you, the God that lives inside of you, you know, the peace that comes from within, the possibilities that rely in you. And I do want to say as well that, you know, really adapting a mindset like this is truly abundant because a scarce mindset would look at the way the world is looking, look at the way circumstances are happening for people, not believing in the limitless potential of the universe, the universe physically, the universe within, the universe of God, God within us, and just over all the enlightened path that comes from within you know having an abundant mindset is just that it's an abundant mind of realizing that there is so much to go around an abundant mindset is truly understanding that there's not a certain limit only a certain amount of people can experience happiness or financial freedom or true love that's just not how the universe works that's just not how energy works that's just not the truth and if you were fooled if you were programmed if you had past experiences that led you to this moment of watching this video please rest assured that if you are wanting true love that true love exists but are you willing to take the steps of going within yourself and finding that true love first and detaching yourself from what may be physically causing you obsession if you're wanting money if you're wanting financial freedom are you willing to work with yourself and understand your money beliefs understand your blockages that may have caused you of not bringing in abundance and just detangling all these limiting beliefs that may have had you limited from the world and from the physical world that we live in that has so much going on and overall i could go on and on about so many circumstances of how the world has affected us mentally physically and spiritually but one thing i do want you all to question and ask yourself is how much time are you giving to entertaining reacting um wasting energy on things that physically happen in our world and letting it affect you from what you have have going on you know if you are starting a business and that business is a field that is very common are you allowing what is physically happening in this world are you allowing what you're seeing on TikTok of all these other businesses related to yours affect you from pursuing your business fully or are you pushing past that and really understanding that you are one of a kind you are unique you are an individual that has so much to bring to the table although your business may be in high demand right now you know that you have value you know that you you add value and then so you work upon that you persist in that you have that as your core belief so everything else manifests in that you see how i did that you see how you can simply anchor the power that is from within you anchor the power that is not of this physical world but the power that comes from within you and you will see how changes arise from this changes arise from having this mindset of anchoring the kingdom of heavens within you anchoring all that there is for you from inside abundantly physically speaking in terms of of love like whatever it is just know that the power truly exists within you and thank you guys so much for watching this video i created this video with the intention of really reaching everyone that it reached i really did have fun like researching this video i feel like we all really do need to take time and just like snap out of it when we're finding ourselves and being caught up in all these worldly messes and problematic things that are happening although it is good to be educated of what's going on in the world i'm not against that at all all i'm against is allowing the impact and effects of what goes on in the world to affect each and every single one of us as individuals and what we are manifesting and who we are creating ourselves to be and just becoming the version of ourselves that we need to become to elevate to become the best versions to help others and just overall live the best possible human experience life it can be so thank you guys so much for watching i created this video with a loving intention and i truly do want you all rewatch this if you can to really get this mindset get this message and just get this overall belief system ingrained in your mind send this to a friend family member lover your dog your cat whoever and just truly send it with the intention of love because in the end we all deserve to anchor the heaven from within we all deserve to anchor that god you know that braham the oneness of the universal essence from within and truly find that enlightened path that comes from within so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all in my next youtube video please be sure to subscribe to join the butterfly gang and i will see you all in my next video goodbye